I'm always looking for something fun to do with tablets or uh, 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 other devices. And uh, Tangible plays here and has a really unique way to make games that are fun to play with the family on your uh, iPad. And who are you? Uh, my name is Pramo Sharma. I'm a co-founder and CEO of Tangible Play. I, I came to this country to study at Stanford University. I did my master's and then I moved to uh, NVIDIA. I spent a year building uh, game chips. And then I spent the like, past eight years at Google, working at Box, web search, Gmail, that kind of stuff. And, and my life has been around Tangible Play for the past few months. Very cool. Now, um, where did our iPad go? Oh, it's oh, up there. Oh, iPad is here, actually. <laughs> Because this is a concept that, or a, a game that's coming out later this year, right? That's right. So we're see, getting a first look at it. The, yes, that's that's right. And, and um, wh what it does actually is we are changing the way you interact with iPad. Yeah. So typically, when you interact with the iPad, you use the touch screen. But in this case, what we are doing is we are putting it on a on accessory and putting a small cap on top of camera. And what it does is lets us use the table in front of it. Yeah. So suddenly we went from There's a little mirror inside here. That's why the mirror inside here. Very, um, very yeah. ingenious. Uh, and 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 what it does actually is now our space is no longer screen, but all of our table, much larger space. So let me give you a quick demo of what you can do. So we have designed these simple cardboard objects. Yeah. There's nothing fancy about them. Let's see what happens when you put an object in front of the iPad screen. Here it's playing a music. What I did here is I made I made these t t little objects, yep. cardboard objects, interactive. The way it works is it detects when you put an object in front of iPad. And not only we detect the objects, we detect exact locations, orientation, all the details on the surface. Wow, that's so, cool. So you're just using the camera that's to, right. to make a grid out of this. That's and right. And you see these objects being put in front of it. And you have a bunch of different games that you've designed using this technology, right? That's right. So this was just a tag demo that you could actually use the surface in front of it to do a bunch of these things. Now these objects need not be cardboard objects; these could be any physical objects. Yeah. So let me show you uh, two games. Uh, the first one is a game of Tangram. Uh, let me do a let me do a simple shape. Actually, this is a cat. I'm going to make a cat using these seven wooden pieces. Yep. Now these ones are, this is supposed to be a hard game, but as you could imagine, I've played this many times. So I'm going to be quick here. Um, so here iPad is recognizing in real time what I'm doing on, on the surface and, and actually giving me a hint when I'm doing it right. Yep. So here, um, let's see. Almost there, and this one is typically hard. Okay, I think this. Okay, this one is goes like this. Yeah. Wow. And you took you took basically a classic puzzle game, and turned into a video game experience here. Uh, okay, this one is hard. I don't really know how to do this one, so I'm going to move to a different game. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, you can just play games, and you can you have word games too. Yes, I'm going to show you a word game as well. Okay. Um, so this one was uh, it's a, it's a classic puzzle, it's a 10-gram game, and this one is um, it's a word game. Uh, it's inspired by a Wheels of Fortune kind of gameplay, where uh, iPad screen gives you an image, and our goal here is to guess the word. So there's yeah. some guess in this in this picture. Uh, there's a word in the picture, and we're going to guess it. And okay. the way you guess is uh, you put basically words in front of iPad screen. So okay, the P is not the right letter. Um, M is not the right letter. And let's see. So this one, the fun part from the game comes when you have two people competing against each other. That's yeah. why we have two color tiles, red and blue. So in this case, uh, the letter is fish. fish. So it's going to put, uh, let's see. So I didn't like the Q. Uh, put I, I'm going to put, let's see. I'm going to f um, hmm. Do you see an H here? Uh, I'm going to lay out the words here. OK, so I'm going to put H here. 
and then uh, letter F and in this case what you see here is I just slide the letter you don't need yeah. to put them in specific orientation or a specific location also it's extremely fast so for example let's try another word here uh, new word comes if you do it here it's, it's recognizes immediately yeah. and that's a really critical for a for a game play because now you could have two people competing against each other yeah that's cool so we get we, we get it this is a, a really cool concept the thing about this is uh, these devices are really low cost to build. That's right. That's right. And the cards are really low cost to print. Right. So um, you could probably sell this for $30 and make good revenue and mm -hmm. sell it at an Apple store or something right, like right, that. Right, right, right. And other thing is, uh, it actually enables this new experience where you don't exactly need the physical objects. You could actually imagine a game place where you don't need to buy any of these things at all. Uh, for example, playing. Um, by cutting a piece of paper and doing a, like a scissor cutting game where yeah. this iPad shows draw, uh, cut a circle for example and then you use a scissor and, and, a, and a piece of paper you have at home. So this is the only piece that's really the crucial that you need to have, yeah. accessory. And, and then the if game... If you took a picture with the camera right now, yes. how sharp would it be? Because it doesn't really mess with the camera at all. Right? No, it's actually as sharp as what the front camera gives from iPad. From my pets, so from you could use it to take notes in a meeting. That's, or that's like right, that. and actually you can do f even more fancy stuff. You could actually imagine be a future design of, of of the adapter where you could actually do a lot more than just taking a picture. Wow. You could imagine a lot more magic happening here. This is the simplest one we have at this point. Yeah, yes. but pretty smart little hack, and th these kinds of. Uh, ideas are highly profitable because you can build the pieces for not much money and That's then right. the rest of the magic software right and so you get so scale. one of the things that uh, that happens here is uh, we are we're building a lot of AI behind the scene yeah. that enables the gameplay and 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 that's non trivial AI right because it has to work under any lighting conditions on any surface yeah. so so for example um, I didn't know before coming to this to the studio what kind of table going to look like, what lighting, and it just magically works. No calibration at all. Right. That's really critical for for a, for a end user experience. Right. Now that's non-trivial and that sort of perceptual intelligence that we are building up here, that has applications beyond gaming, beyond this form factor. So you could imagine tomorrow we have, uh, you probably don't need this accessory, the iPad comes with a uh, camera that can actually move by itself. And in that case, we don't probably need any of this. And our tag actually will enable a very interesting experiences. Um, very cool. Um, how are you going to make this a company? And tell me about your roadmap, because this will be out later this year, probably around Christmas time. Right? Uh, we would love to get something before Christmas. Uh, yeah. We're moving really fast. Um, our vision for the company is we really believe that last few years and next few years going to be a lot of improvements in computing and camera technologies and when you get the cameras fast camera like really high quality cameras and fast compute what do you do with that right I mean at some point cameras have to understand what's happening in the real world so we are building sort of those sort of building blocks for understanding the real world through cameras and the gaming this product is sort of first step towards that our big vision is to build perceptual comp perceptual intelligence in any consumer product. Yeah. So we start with the games. In the games, we uh, clearly have this accessory and the game, different games that come with that. So the way we have designed even our packaging is it comes, it's, it's a modular design, and it, it, it basically uh, t tells the idea that we're going to have m multiple games over time. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to make money by selling uh, physical games. No, that's cool. I can see all sorts of games that you could design while using this device, like the, the camera reflector. It's really a, a brilliant idea. Uh, it's so simple that when you see it, it's like, why didn't I think of that? It, but that's it took us a long time. It, it took you a long, long time yes, to think of that. Yes, it? it actually took us a long time. You're trying without this, and it's actually much harder. Because if you don't have the mirror, what you end up doing is you put basically an iPad in front of it, and everything goes behind it. And that's how typically people do that. And, and when you do that, the experience is suboptimal yeah. because now you're holding iPad in your hand. What Mirror allowed us to do is it lets us open up the, it basically lets us control the direction of where camera is looking. So that yeah. was really critical step, really critical. 
Uh, tell me, uh, did you self-fund this or are you funded uh, at so all? So early on, uh, we, I showed this prototype to Manu Kumar from K9 Ventures yeah. and he got super excited. He loves camera stuff. Yeah. So he actually pushed me to move forward and, and give us an angel investment um, earlier this year. Yeah. So now, Manu, Manu uh, invested in Lytro and uh, other, uh, a whole bunch of really cool stuff. I, he, I like he's, what, what he, know, he understand. He understands the challenges what works, what doesn't. And as an investor, I think he's, he's just awesome. We yeah. love him. Uh, are you gonna put stuff on Kickstarter to raise more money or uh, and get I think it to the market? For us, we just- Or we, Indiegogo, Indiegogo yeah, was I think, this year. Yeah, uh, yeah we, we, have, we are thinking about it right now. Yeah. Clearly, this is going to be one of them. Very cool. Um, on one of the Kickstarter project probably. So by the end of the year, we'll, we should watch tangible, tangibleplay.com for more yes, information? Yes, yes. In fact, we have uh, we have formed on a website, you can sign up and we let you know when we are ready for Kickstarter or our pre-orders. Yeah. How much should one of these games cost? Like um, the current price we are thinking of is each box between 50, 15 to 30 bucks. 15 that's to 30 dollars. That's so the range. Very affordable for a Yes, really, affor really affordable. Yeah. And it, makes a, it will make a great uh, Christmas gift as well. Yeah. Uh, even some of the things that we put a lot of attention is design. So for example, here, this piece is, has magnets built in. Uh, what that means is now you're unlikely to lose this piece. Yeah. So this is we took your two pieces and put them into a one piece design. That should yeah. really be powerful now. You're never, never going to lose it. The second thing is even the boxes have magnets built in. So let me show you this. If you put so if you put the boxes together, they stuck. Oh, because they're magnets. magnets in here. Yes, they're oh. magnets, and they are really magical. Yeah, it's pretty strong. So yes, um, and and okay. they they all align together. So now well, that's these nice. Are three boxes. One thing is uh, with this kind of toy, they always get mixed in the toy box, and then you right. never find the pieces, yes. and it's done. I, for us, yes, we're really yeah. thinking from end to end user experience, including storage. Yeah. Um, Very the, nice. So thirty dollars a game, so seventy seventy five yeah, dollars for three. Yeah. Yes. Or a hundred dollars for uh, four something. We, like that. we are still thinking through through the price, but we are going to make it really affordable Very cool. for end users. Well, thank you so much for coming and giving me one of the first looks. It's really great to see what how inventors like you are thinking of using the cameras. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much.